One thing that entrepreneurs can be sure about is the next crisis is around the bend. So once the crisis is there, you can be sure that your shareholders are going to be, you know, on their toes and what they are interested in is protecting their stakes. Now, how can you manage your stakeholders in times of crisis? Here's how. <laughs> Hey, my name is Armin and Rao, founder of Alan and Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And I've been a leader, entrepreneur and coach for more than 20 years. I'm now sharing my experience in these videos with a community of young entrepreneurs who want to become better managers. So if you want to improve your management skills and by that make your company more successful, click on the button underneath this video on the red button uh, so that you subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell so that you're always informed about the latest tips, tricks and tools for leadership for entrepreneurs, my insights. Now, talking about managing your stakeholders, actually three things that will allow you to manage your stakeholders, especially in times of crisis. Then, because one thing you can be very sure about in times of crisis, everybody of your stakeholders, of your shareholders, is actually going to think about themselves and about saving their stakes. Now, strategy number one is be absolutely transparent. Actually put the facts on the table, actually do exactly or say exactly uh, what uh, has happened, what the situation is, but also present a plan on how you're going to rectify, how you're going to correct the situation. And after that, talk about the progress on the plan and give them results. Also give them quick wins so that they can see who something is happening and something is actually improving. improving. You have to keep them calm because if they aren't, they're going to get on your nerves all the time and you can't concentrate on your business. Next thing, strategy number two is don't accept false accusations. For example, I was with a client the other day who, um, who actually fulfilled milestones that would have declenched a new round of financing. But the shareholders said, no, these milestones are not reached. So you have to stick to your guns and defend, and it was actually the case, defend your positions that the milestones were reached. Or with another client, the shareholders tried to make the owner and managing director believe that he was a failure because he was losing money uh, and he still was not making money, whilst operationally the business was profitable and the other stuff was amortization, was depreciation and um, uh, losses from, from previous years that was just legacy. Uh, but if you are in these situations, you're overwhelmed, you've got so many things um, on your back and you might uh, not react uh, correctly because they are putting you under pressure. So that's the second most important strategy to manage your shareholders, not to accept false accusations um, after being absolutely transparent. And number three is ask for help. Now, um, um, you can include your shareholders. It's not only about you uh, delivering the answers and you having all uh, the the answers to everything and you know when the dust has settled a bit after the first uh, discussions ask them to help ask them to give their input on how you can make this a common cause and how you can actually solve these problems together now three important things when in a crisis and your shareholders are on your back first of all be absolutely transparent secondly uh, don't accept false accusations because th these will normally occur because everybody is just trying you know to save his stakes and number three ask for help involve your shareholders and as a conclusion please remember your shareholders will be your friends as, as long as everything works well and uh, according to plan but the plan will not work all the time and there will be crises and in these, in, in these uh, um, situations, be transparent, defend your position and tell your shareholders that you can only go through this together and not alone. The life coaching actually shows you how to behave in these situations and how to, you can actually master the crises with your shareholders, your clients, your employees, your finances. That is all part of the life program. And if you've got a current challenge in your business. What is it? What is your current most important business challenge? If you would like to have help on that, just call me 
uh, by clicking on the link underneath this video. That will lead you to a questionnaire where I will get a little bit more information about your business. And then we will book a session where I will help you completely free of charge to solve the most important and immediate problems that you have right now to become more successful, to make your business more successful and to sleep well at night. Now, that was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. I am happy to help you to become a better leader with this content. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and share the video. And uh, as I said before, here's the link uh, to booking the private session with me. Again, it's on the screen right now and we will have a completely free of charge uh, conversation where I can help you to, in, uh, to, to, to manage a crisis that you might currently have. Speak soon, Armin El Rao, and don't forget, lead yourself.